welcome back to the channel. Today I have an Amazon hamster haul for you guys. I'm super excited. I've had my Syrian hamster Kiwi for a couple days now. He's my new hamster. And I thought I'd order a couple things off of Amazon and do a little haul for you guys. So let's get into it. So I did already open up this box. I'm sorry about that because I know you guys kind of like seeing people cut open the box. I'm sorry. But I did need some of the essentials that I did buy. Um, but this is one of them. This is the Pure Bites 100% um, chicken breast dog treats. I know you guys are probably like, why are you feeding him dog treats? Well, they're 100% chicken breast, no additives, no preservatives, and they're like freeze dried, something like that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And I couldn't really swallow the fact of feeding my hamster mealworms. I'm not really good with insects. So I thought this would be a better way to give them protein because it turns out hamsters are not omnivores, I think it is. They need their protein, which I, that's something new that I learned about owning a hamster. But yeah, they do need their protein in their diet. So yeah, I thought this was a good way to give them that. Next thing that I opened was this Timothy Hay. So hamsters do not actually consume hay, but it makes great nesting material. So I thought I'd pick some of the, this up from Amazon. You can also use toilet paper, but obviously that's um, a short supply right now. So I thought I'd go with just some good old, good old Timothy hay for his nesting material. And then next thing we have. So this stuff I haven't even looked at, but I do think I kind of remember what I ordered. So first thing I have is these birch, this birch value bag. It is, um, it's honestly just supposed to be for like dec decoration, like wood decoration around your house. But I, but these are safe for hamster consumption. So I thought it would be good to make like toys out of this, like little DIY toys or like a ladder. I don't know what I'm go gonna do, going to do with them, but maybe I can also just scatter them around his cage and make a chew out of it. I don't know. I'll kind of just keep them around. I thought it'd be a good chew. Next thing I have is this bird toy. Yeah, I have this bird toy. It is just a bird toy that you would hang to a bird's cage and they could just like chew it or play with it. But I find that bird toys are like great alternatives for small animals because they can chew them and you can just hang it, hang them onto the side of your cage. I'll probably hang this onto the roof of Kiwi's cage because it is mesh. And if he enjoys climbing, maybe he can climb on this. I don't know too much about him, but and he can use this as a chew, so I'm really excited about this toy. But yeah, the brand's right there. Then next up, I have this cork log. This was actually made for reptiles. As you can see, here's the brand. Um, I know there's like naturalistic cork, like real cork logs. This is fake. But I know there's like real cork logs, but I really wanted a cork log that could have an entrance on the side as well, not just from the front and the back. And this was, gr this, I thought this was a good natural alternative. This will go with his natural theme really well, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, I think it'll be a good burrow starter or just a little tunnel for him so he can enjoy that. So yeah, I really like this. And it's actually made for reptiles, um, but I think it will j work just as well. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. And the last thing we have in this package is this oh it's by the same brand from the other bird toy is this like bird ladder thing that you clip up to the bird's cage i'm so excited about this toy i've seen so many um ladders like this in uh other hamster cages so i'm really excited to use it for kiwi i don't know if he's a, he really enjoys climbing quite yet but if he does i think he'll really enjoy this and i just think it's so cute it's like a little ladder so yeah i'm really excited and the, actually, wait, the last thing in this package that I actually already have in his cage is his wheel, which I will get out for you guys right now. So yeah, as you guys can see, this is his wheel. We did have him on a silent spitter before we got this wheel, just as a temporary wheel, but I we ordered this off of Amazon, and I am obsessed with this wheel. You guys, it is so quiet. It is quiet, more quiet than the silent spinner. Like, you guys probably can't even hear that. And it's made out of wood, and I... Just, I really love it. It goes with this natural theme really well. We got this off of Amazon for about $30, something like that. It, it was the medium size, and I think it's a 
9 inch. I know it does kind of look a little small for a Syrian, but he is a baby and it does reach over the bare minimum for a Syrian, which is an 8 inch wheel. But for bigger Syrians, I do recommend a 10 inch. So maybe we'll get the large in the future once he starts growing. But I think he does enjoy running on this. I saw him running on it last night and he, he was really enjoying it. So yeah, I am really obsessed with this wheel. I totally recommend it. And yeah, here is just a couple shots of it. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of like a smaller haul, but I really wanted to show you guys everything that I got in this package because I thought it was so cool. I cannot wait to put it in Kiwi's cage. I think he'll really enjoy these items. If you guys want to see a cage tour, then give this video a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and give that notification bell a kick and, you'll, and you will be notified every time we post a video. And you can comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye! Ordering off of Amazon. I'm, I keep taking cake.